Good morning, welcome back to another vlog. Before I go to work, I've just packed my work bag and I have to show you how I'm taking my cereal to work. Um, this is my bowl, and then in my bowl, I've got my cereal. And then in here, this is, a this is a jar, this is a bottle. It's brand new washed, but this is a bottle that we're actually gonna be using for, <laughs> just sorry, arm of Lee. Um, that we're actually gonna be using for our diffusers. But it comes from a place that does food safe bottles. So this bottle could be used for food. Um, and I've got milk in it because I put it in a, a thing like this last week and it, link, it linked, it leaked. I've also put it inside the bag just in case it leaks. Just a, a final thing, but that just made me laugh. Cause it, when I pour this on my cereal, it's gonna look like I'm putting some kind of weird potion on my cereal at work. Um, that's all. And just like that, it is very much home time. Is there anything better than a beer glass that has been in the freezer? The answer is no, absolutely not. It's actually super cold. I got a paper cut yesterday on my finger, obviously, that's usually where you go, well, not obviously, but it was on my finger, um, from putting the stickers on the advents. And it's so sore, it's really stinging. So I'm actually gonna enjoy leaning it against this. Also, it's not for me. I always get really excited about dessert things that aren't for me because I'm, a bit picky with that stuff. But how cool do these look? Just went to the shop to get some milk and had to get these, obviously. Thankfully, Lee had already bought me a beer and put it in the freezer for me. Yesterday felt like a blur. Today, I'm going to that mini golf thing I told you about in the last vlog. Got up, not early, but like nine-ish on a Saturday when I really would have loved to sleep longer um, because I have got some bits to do before I go out later. I just need to kind of like make that be somewhere else. I've got rollers in my hair because the stupid paper cut that I got on my finger that is so painful, I can't even bear the thought of washing my hair. So I blasted it with some dry shampoo. It's still got mousse in it from yesterday. I'm just going to see what happens. And then worst case scenario, I'll just put it back. But we'll see. I love rollers because it means that I can put the time in now and then I can go about my day and then I come back. And it's done. I don't know why it feels less time consuming than regular curling my hair. Because I curl my hair before I put the rollers in. That's how my brain works. How cool is this? great time at the golf thing it was like i've been to um crazy golf stuff before i can't remember what it was called but it was family friendly this was over 18s and when we walked in it was amazing it was like all graffitied and kind of uv so everything was glowing so i hate buttons i do like color i hate them um i just it was really really fun i'm horrible at it but that's about five. Also, as you were walking around, um, you could order drinks to the hole that you are, which was fun. Uh, and the staff there were all really fun. Um, and yeah, great time. Then we went out in Sheffield and I got home at a very reasonable hour. I stopped drinking pretty early on um, and switched to water or Coke because, Coke, Coke, because I had to get a train home and I just couldn't risk being drunk and not being able to get my train home. Um, so I was, I was pretty good yesterday. However, because I had so much water, I probably had four or five pints of water um, in the part in like the last two hours of being out. I must have got up to go to the toilet three hundred times last night. So although in theory I shouldn't be hungover, I feel awful because I feel like I haven't slept. I just went and put the bedding on. It's like seven o'clock at night. Can you believe? I didn't get to actual bedtime and realise I'd forgotten to put the bedding on. Oh, I thought there was something on the floor, but I think it's just a leaf. Mm. No, I think it's just a leaf. Okay, it was too dark. It was too dark to film like that. I desperately wanted some fizzy water. I actually thought I might get dressed and go out just to get some fizzy water. And I thought, oh, I might have some soda water in the bar. And I'm really hoping this hasn't been opened. What do we think? Is that full? I don't know. Oh, I think... 
that's giving has been opened before. Mm. Oh, I was plenty feeling enough still. Whew. You know, sometimes it's usually because I haven't drunk enough water, which for sure I haven't. But sometimes you just have a major craving. I just needed fizzy water. Needed it. Needed it. Regular water wasn't going to cut it. Most exciting thing of the week. I was not on this podcast, but I, I sent in a voice note. You know I love Only Murders in the Building. I think I might have mentioned this in a previous vlog, but I sent in a voice note to this podcast with um, a theory and they included it in the podcast. That was so exciting. So from episode one, I have theorised that there is some kind of metal poisoning going on because Charles doesn't see Saz until he's exposed to her ashes. And he specifically said he would leave the jar open so the water could evaporate several times throughout this season so far we've been reminded of the jar he will either more talk about it or will be shown it it's just sitting in charles's apartment still open to the air um and i think he's just kind of being poisoned that way secondly richard kind's character vince mentions in passing that he has an enlarged heart this was like a throwaway comment at the time but a little google search told me that is a symptom of heavy metal poisoning as well my theory was pretty weak until we got the information about dudenoff being ill so if Dudenoff was also ill when he died, we know he had a metal joint. Who's to say that's not what caused his illness? And finally, Glenn Stubbins. He seems to be hallucinating rats wherever he goes. Initially, it kind of just seems it's, it's in that bar, but he also uh, hallucinates them when he's in the elevator at the Arconia. So it's everywhere. Now he's in the hospital. I am convinced that we will discover that he has metal poisoning and that is going to be the thing that connects everyone. Wow. Thank you so much, Trish and Makila, for those voice memos. I was actually doing a live Get Ready With Me the other day um, and someone said they just heard me on the podcast. And I was like, shut up. I sent the, I was, they do like two episodes a week now um, because it must have gained some popularity since the last season because they only did one episode a week. Um, but they do two episodes a week of the podcast. One comes out the same day as the actual episode and then the second one comes out midweek so I, after i'd seen the actual episode i was like oh i've got such a short amount of time if i if i want to send something in and i did it like day one and then i never received anything back not even like an acknowledgement of the email so i just thought mm, well it would have been hilarious if i just had listened to this religiously if i just found it while i was listening to it like oh my god but that was exciting as well for someone to tell me they just heard it uh, so that was my highlight of the my, my rose as opposed to my thorn of the week i'm just ready to have a full blown food related meltdown then because oh, since last night since we went to bed last night i have wanted scrambled eggs scrambled eggs slash possibly an omelette oh maybe an omelette maybe it's gonna be an omelette because we were watching i couldn't tell you what the show was but we were watching a movie um, about the financial crisis. It was a real star-studded thing. I'm trying to remember who was in it. Um, the guy from Gossip Girl, Dan Humphrey from Gossip Girl. Uh, who else, who else, who else? Stanley Tucci, Kevin Spacey, I know, art from The Artist. Um, so many people. Oh, oh, the guy, um, the guy that plays Vision in... Guy that plays Vision in The Avengers. What's his name? Paul Bettany. Yeah, so many, like, major stars. Anyway, we were watching this show and they, or this movie, they were hanging out at the um, office all night because this was, you know, like, some dramatic finance bros stuff. Oh, my goodness. At least it was an empty egg. Um... And in the early hours of the morning, they were eating what looked like the most delicious eggs I've ever seen in my life. And we'd had dinner and it was like 11 o'clock at night by this point. But I just really wanted some eggs and I've woken up starving with only one thing on my mind. I would put milk in scrambled eggs, but I don't know. Do you put milk in an omelette? Maybe. In each to their own, but... I feel like maybe it makes the um, scrambled eggs creamier, but then with an omelette, you need it to be like firmer, don't you? So maybe that's just a mistake. Time will tell.
might not look like all that, but I'm so excited about this. It's very cheesy. I'm also waiting for, ah, oh, Gray's to load and Money is hanging out in his bed just behind that chair. Money has made me move my computer so he could sit on my knee. I don't think I can work like this. I have been basically on the sofa all day long and Manny always, like he usually would sit with me, but he chose, he's looking at me kind of through the gap in the chair. Um, he chose maybe half an hour before I had to go and get Milo to come and sit with me. He was sat, we were sat in the same room all day long. And when his dad gets home, he will tell him that I have ignored him all day and he has been completely devoid of attention, but here we are. Um, all that is to say, I have been watching a lot of TV today because I've done a lot of computer work. I was doing a lot of labels, um, background website stuff. I've done three months worth of expenses, which let me tell you, I think it's actually my least favorite job of all the things of running a small business. Making sure that every single thing that we spend is not only accounted for, but that there is an invoice, which is not an automatic thing that you get when you buy things, an invoice attached and then kept for taxes. It's not my favourite thing. It's not my favourite thing. I've never been good with expenses. With my YouTube stuff, I tend to just overpay on my tax because I'm not good at keeping records and books and stuff. So with this, because obviously this is a much larger situation and it's shared with Karen, I'm like, we need to do this properly. Plus for a limited company, it's like, you know, it's a bit more serious. Um, I, I'm really diligent, but I've been putting it off and putting it off and I was three months behind. That was a mammoth task. So I'm really glad to have got that done today. However, while I was doing that, I was watching, I'd gone down a, a major rabbit hole this morning. I think I saw like a reel of Kieran Culkin on an interview, which I just find him, first of all, adorable, um, but also hilarious. Uh, and I went down a rabbit hole of watching random clips of him and I was watching him act on actors. I mean I watched hours of him on YouTube I'm realizing now but I watched actors on actors it was him and Claire Danes and she was talking about a show that she was on called Fleischman is in trouble and I'd seen it advertised but it was like an illustration and I was like oh, I kind of feel like I'd like that but I don't really love Jesse Eisen Eisner Eisen what is his name what is his name you know the guy from the social network Hopefully if I go back on this, it'll just be the first thing that comes up. Um, I don't really love him. Eisenberg. So it's got Claire Danes, Lizzie Kaplan. Apparently, Adam Brody, I didn't know that. I would have watched this a long time ago, especially since we, the, the resurgence of Adam Brody. But um, Lizzie Kaplan, I love, and Claire Danes. I was kind of like, I don't know if I'm going to like him. But the way they were talking about it kind of reminded me of The Affair. So you're going to see it from two different perspectives. But I'm like seven episodes in at this point. It's all this thing of like post-divorce. Um, the woman seems to just be terrible. But what Kieran Culkin said in their Actors on Actors was kind of like, it made it, it makes you look and you realise that you're seeing something from one perspective and you're not considering another perspective. You're just kind of like blinkered. Um, so I'm waiting for it to kind of flip. But so far, absolutely loving it. It's on Disney, FX, if that's more what you've got access to because uh, it's an FX show, but it is on Disney in the UK. Cannot recommend this enough so far. Really enjoying it. I actually, I think it's redeemed Jesse, I, I, I've already forgotten his name. Jesse Eisenberg, did I say that? Um, or I would watch more things with him in it now because I'm really enjoying this. Also, this probably looks like sweets behind me. It's, I've got them here. I mean, Lee laments. All, like, this is all my space to put things on, look. All around the edges of the sofa. It wasn't open. <laughs> it totally could have been open. Um, but I, this is my balancing. This is all a surface. Lee is like, if there is a surface that I can put things on, things are on that surface. And listen, the whole world is my surface. And it all must be covered with things. Um, but yeah, I'm, gonna try, I'm trying to remember to take this every day. And this is not a try this. This is it. I am trying this. It might be rubbish. I'm have terrible side effects. I will keep you posted. But I bought it ages ago, took it for a couple of days, forgot it existed because I just kind of like had it stashed down here. So I'm kind of keeping it in sight and trying to remember. That said, it is quarter to five in the afternoon and it's been there all day and I've been here all day. 
It's the first time that I've actually thought about it. So I'll take it in a second. Uh, but I'm going to wrap up the vlog here. I'm going to finish Fleischman is in Trouble. I'm really, I mean, it's a mini series is my only thing. So I know that once it's finished, it's really finished, which is a real bummer for me, but hey ho. Um, and it was a book as well. So if I really, by the end, if I'm like, can't get enough of it, I might download the Audible because I'm so enjoying the story. Um... And yeah, anyway, that's it. I've got lots of things to do tomorrow. I'm going for a walk with my friend after dropping off some stuff with Karen, doing a bit of a swap, dropping some stuff off at that coffee shop that we're hopefully going to be working with. Um, lots of things going on. So I will take you with me then. This has been a bit of a, a rough few days in terms of vlogging, but I just, I was feeling so rubbish this weekend. I wasn't really feeling it on Friday when I was going to work. Then there was the whole thing of like, don't really want to go out. Then I did go out and I had a good time. But then I had the whole anxiety of, I feel terrible about myself when I drink. I feel terrible about myself now while I'm drinking. And then for a solid 72 hours afterwards, I just feel like a bad person. I feel like I've done something awful. I did nothing. I actually came home at a really reasonable time, stopped drinking pretty early. I got myself home on the train. I got myself home and was not I didn't make a fool of myself. I remember absolutely everything of the evening and I there was there's no reason to feel that way. But I feel like the minute, I almost get pre-anxiety now. So just the idea of going out and drinking, I feel terrible. I know that this is telling me, just stop. And every year I feel like I get closer to, I just don't, I'm just over this. Drinking outside of the house. I mean, to be fair, I think I'd miss like making cocktails and like fun stuff like that. But actually drinking, drinking out with people, it just fills me with dread, which is such a fun part of getting older, isn't it? So fun. Maybe I've always felt like this and I'm more in tune with it now. I don't know. But that was definitely like a downer, which is such a shame because otherwise I had a great time. And I would recommend that place as well. Golf fun. Really, really fun if you're in the area. Um, anyway, I'm going to leave it there. Thanks so much for watching and I will see you guys probably in the next two days.